If my kid smokes just one joint, it isn't a big deal, right? After all, everybody does it. Well, think again. Cannabis has increased in popularity in both medical and recreational use across the US. And that's fine, but it creates a massive new problem, the misuse of this drug, which has been shown to have long-term behavioral and biological effects, especially in teens. You see, the brain of a teen is still wiring itself. It's still developing itself in areas that control decision-making, emotions, memory, and motivation. So you could say it's not a mature brain yet. And when you introduce THC, the chemical in weed that gets you high, it latches onto the same brain system that is still developing, which is called the endocannabinoid system or ECS for short. Think of the system like of the body's messaging app for mood, learning, and memory. When teens use weed regularly, it disrupts those natural signals. So it's like someone spamming your phone while you're trying to update your software in peace. So the big question is, okay, so what? What can actually go wrong? Well, research shows that the heavy use of just weed in teens is tied to depression, anxiety, and yes, addiction too. Even though you might think it doesn't get you addicted, you can still build a mental dependency on it. And in some cases, even serious conditions can develop, like psychosis or schizophrenia, especially if your teen already has the genes for it. Here's the worst part that most people don't understand. The teens that are actively misusing this drug won't feel the real side effects until they're adults. And sometimes that is already too late. The side effects can be a real negative impact too, Memory, because it affects the hippocampus area of the brain. Motivation and reward systems being hijacked, so you're no longer a regular functional adult. And focus and decision making are heavily affected because of the damage to the prefrontal cortex. Now, you tell me, 